Solar HUNMD. You have not seen these. Inspire and Empower. Good message. I don't know, they look good though. These boxes are not my favorite. You gotta have the hinge, man. This smells so premium, this is unbelievable. Oh, it does. This is like a Christmas gift when your uncle gives you it and he lives in Nebraska and you send it super What? <laughs> you know my cousin had a fake pair of these? And these are so much better. Like this is unbelievable. These are cool. These are good. I feel like people would think you're kind of a tool. You can show people I have these and you don't. I might be a tool, but I'm co still cooler than you. Bro, these are unbelievable. Everyone's gonna be like, yo, you guys, you're such a loser, bro. You buy these shoes with all these scuffs. Hey guys, what is up? We are back with another video today. I hope all of you guys are doing good. I also hope you're doing great. And if you haven't already, make sure to go follow me on Instagram and Twitter with the links down in the description. It helps out a lot. So if you guys are longtime viewers of the channel, you probably know I'm, I'm a little bit hesitant to wear my sneakers right out of the box. And I usually wait like a year before I end up breaking out a pair of shoes. There are some exceptions. I wore the Jordan 1 Shadows like every day for about a month after they came out. And another one would be these, which I've had on feet basically since I got them on Saturday. They are awesome. Like look at them on feet. I know you probably shouldn't wear them with these pants. I was lazy, haven't done laundry for my Hong Kong trip yet, and I'm running out of jeans. I'm not gonna keep the truth from you. That's why I'm wearing these pants with these shoes. But regardless, they still look really, really good, as you can see. I'm so happy I got them, just walked into livestock, got them for retail. Super, super lucky. Like seriously, super lucky. I have such a ridiculous amount of shoes, I mean, as you can see, that I usually don't ever get to the point where I can't wear them anymore. Like a regular person buys a pair of shoes, wears them for six months, yada, yada, yada. They're worn out, they throw them out, they buy a new pair. I mean, I've owned these for two years and I've worn them five times. So the whole wearing them out thing doesn't really happen that often. I've actually only done it with two pairs of shoes I've ever owned. The first one right here is the first pair of Jordan sneakers I ever bought in my life. These right here, the Jordan New Schools. I wore these a crap ton. The traction is still good, the shoe is still good. The only problem is the air bubble pop, so it just feels super uneven walking on them because one shoe is higher than the other. I mean, besides that, they're good though. The other shoe that I can't wear anymore is the Hyperdunk 2011, which pains me to say, because this is like the shoe that got me into sneakers. If they ever retro the Hyperdunk 2011, I am 100% purchasing a pair just for the nostalgia. The reason I had to retire these is because, yeah, a little bit broken on the bottom. Just a little bit. I mean, I could still probably try and wear these if I wanted to, but the traction's worn down. I, I wore these a lot. I got my enjoyment out of these. It's no big deal at all that I can't wear these anymore. I've kept both of these pairs, and uh, I've never really thrown out a pair of sneakers. I guess I'm a little bit of a hoarder that way. Anyway, long story short, I have a third pair of shoes that I completely have ran through, and we need to get rid of them today. I haven't even taken them out of my uh, suitcase yet. I still need to unpack all this stuff, but here they are, the uh, the Stutter Step 2s. As you can see, they're not in the best shape. Tons of lace holes broken, the lace is ripped on these, there's like no traction left at all on the bottom of them. They've definitely seen better days. These hold the distinction of being the cheapest pair of shoes that I've ever bought. I paid $27 for these. And as far as I can remember, there has not been a pair of shoes that I've actually purchased that I've got for cheaper than these. I mean, obviously I've got a whole bunch of pairs of shoes for free, but that doesn't really count. $27 and I got four years of outdoor basketball out of these. That is an amazing deal. $27 over four years, over hundreds of times playing in these. I was honestly probably paying 10 cents per time I used these, if that. Like I got my money's worth and then some out of them and it's honestly pretty sad to see these go, but these are trash and part of what I'm trying to do this year is just 
stop keeping stuff that I don't need. That's why I'm selling so many of my sneakers. That's why when I moved out, I didn't take a whole bunch of random crap that I never used and just keeping what I need and getting rid of what I don't. Last time I played in these was in Hong Kong in that basketball video that we made and it was pretty evident that these things were done. They, they weren't comfortable, they didn't grip the court. The freaking lace holes are broken so they didn't even hold your foot down properly and it's just time to go for you guys. I just thought it'd be cool to take a second and sort of reminisce about all the times I've had in these shoes. If you guys are original vlog watchers, you know the amount that I wore this pair of shoes. If you guys were over on my other channel, Tom's Vlogs, watching the, you probably saw these in like every single vlog, honestly. Like I'm not even joking, these things were on my feet all the time. Okay, enough of the sentimental stuff though, Let, let's go throw these out. Okay, I just realized I think this is actually a recycling bin, but I mean, there's like a mattress and styrofoam here, which are also not recyclable, so we're just gonna leave them there. I don't actually know where to find a big garbage bin outside. I'm gonna miss you. Let's just leave those guys right there. You've had a good life. Have fun in shoe heaven, or the dump, or both. I guess when you think about it, the cheapest shoes that I've ever bought are now complete trash. Quite literally, complete trash. This has been such a silly video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It's a holiday today in Winnipeg and literally everything is closed. So for all you guys that wanted a longer vlog, I'm sorry, but this is the best I can do. Oh, and make sure to comment why is the vlog so short down in the comment section below to let me know that you watched straight to the end. Love you guys from the bottom of my heart and I'll see you tomorrow.